Friday will be a day that can change everything before? Yeah, this will open a new NASA's Falcon Heavy era. The launch of the Psyche asteroid mission is the opening act among five launches the space agency has directly reserved on SpaceX's heavy lift rocket over the next few years. It was set to lift off from KSC's launch pad 39A as early as 10.16 a.m. Eastern Time Thursday. However, the launch has been delayed until 10.19 a.m. EDT on Friday to account for inclement weather that's barreling in from the Gulf of Mexico. There are daily windows for launch until October 23. These Falcon Heavy missions will span a wide range of objectives within NASA's space exploration endeavors. They will involve launching various spacecraft into deep space, deploying a state-of-the-art astronomical observatory, launching a weather satellite, and playing a pivotal role in assembling NASA's Gateway Mini Space Station around the moon. Tim Dunn, a NASA launch director stationed at the Florida Spaceport, expressed, We've been preparing for this for several years, and we've benefited from SpaceX's manifest. They've launched four Falcon Heavies since last November. In total, there are currently contracts for up to 10 Falcon Heavy missions with SpaceX. Among these, five have been solidified through agreements with NASA's Launch Services Program, an office responsible for securing launch services for NASA's robotic space missions and aligning payloads with commercial launch vehicles. A notable mission in this roster is Europa Clipper, a $5 billion endeavor led by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory aimed at exploring Europa, Jupiter's icy moon which holds the potential for life-sustaining environments. One of the upcoming Falcon Heavy launches is designated for the U.S. Space Force, and two additional Falcon Heavy flights have been reserved by Astrobotic to transport NASA experiments to the lunar surface via commercial moon landers. Two more Falcon Heavy missions are slated for potential use by SpaceX to ferry resupply ships to the Gateway Lunar Station, likely in the late 2020 decade, although the status of these missions remains uncertain. So it's fair to say NASA is involved directly or indirectly in driving demand for nine of the ten Falcon Heavy missions currently in SpaceX's backlog. It's an incredible capability for our nation. We're fortunate to have it, Dunn shared in a recent interview. If you look at the manifest, this is our first of a series of Falcon Heavies. Despite being overtaken by the recent debuts of NASA's Space Launch System and SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket, the Falcon Heavy still stands as the world's most potent operational commercial rocket. It can transport nearly 64 metric tons of cargo to an orbit a few hundred miles above Earth's surface, should SpaceX choose to expand all three of the rocket's first stage boosters. In addition, the Falcon Heavy has maintained an impeccable track record, achieving success in all seven of its launches since its maiden flight in February 2018. It has been employed for launching a variety of payloads, including commercial communications, satellites, and military cargo. The forthcoming launch of NASA's Psyche mission will signify the eighth Falcon Heavy mission. If schedules hold, SpaceX is on track to conduct a ninth Falcon Heavy mission in late November involving a classified payload for the Space Force. All right, back to the launch that could happen in just a few hours. The rocket that has the power of three Falcon 9s essentially strapped together first flew in 2019, sending Musk's Tesla out to an orbit that took the car past Mars. That's where the Psyche probe is headed as well. After traveling an estimated 3.5 billion kilometers, the spacecraft will arrive at asteroid 16 Psyche, which is located at the far edge of the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter in 2029. Once the spacecraft is in place, mission scientists will study the metal asteroid, which is different from the rock and ice-dominated bodies studied in situ in the past, to learn more about how the rocky planets of the solar system formed. Discovered in 1852, Psyche is considered one of the most fascinating objects in the main asteroid belt, and scientists have only been able to study it at a distance. Scientists think the asteroid is composed of the exposed core of a planetesimal, a small body that formed during planet formation as gas and dust around a star collapsed in dense patches. A planetesimal could eventually go on to gather more mass and thus become a planet, 
but Psyche is thought to have failed to reach planet status because it collided with other larger bodies as the solar system was forming around 4.5 billion years ago, possibly stripping the metal-rich asteroid of its outer rocky shell and exposing its iron-rich core. That means that studying this 279 kilometers potato-shaped asteroid could not only help reveal more about the collisions that took place in the early solar system, but also provide scientists with a proxy for the inaccessible iron core of our own planet. One of the most vital parts of the Psyche mission will be getting the spacecraft to this distant asteroid and then keeping it in place so its scientific instruments can do their jobs. To do this, the spacecraft, which measures 4.9 by 2.2 by 2.4 meters, will depend on a solar electric propulsion system that captures sunlight with its large solar arrays and then converts it to electric and magnetic fields. These fields accelerate charged atoms of the propellant edzanon, which is commonly found in plasma televisions on Earth. These atoms, in the form of blue glowing ionized gas, are then blasted out into space by the Psyche spacecraft's four thrusters, providing the craft with propulsion that looks like something straight out of science fiction. According to NASA, each of these four thrusters operates one at a time, providing a force equivalent to the weight of three quarters in your hand here on Earth, which, in the microgravity and frictionless environment of space, is enough to propel the spacecraft. Even with these revolutionary Hall effect thrusters, which so far have been used to get only as far as the moon, the spacecraft's journey to the vicinity of Jupiter won't be a straight shot. Instead, it will require a gravity-assisted slingshot maneuver around Mars in 2026, and Psyche will arrive at its metal-rich asteroid target in August 2029. The spacecraft will then make orbits of the asteroid at a distance of around 700 kilometers, which will decrease as the mission proceeds. The spacecraft will use progressively closer orbital periods or regimes to investigate different characteristics of the asteroid. During its first orbital regime, lasting 56 days, the spacecraft will use its magnetometer to search Psyche for an ancient magnetic field, which would provide evidence that the asteroid was once a planetary body. As the spacecraft does this, its multispectral imager will assess the topography of Psyche's surface. This will continue as the NASA orbiter draws closer to the asteroid, hopefully revealing more details of these characteristics, particularly during the next two orbital regimes, B1 and 2, which will last 192 days. Moving even closer to the asteroid during the 100-day orbital regime, Psyche's telecommunication system, which sends data to Earth and receives commands from ground control via radio waves, will be used to investigate the gravitational influence of the metal-rich asteroid, this could help better constrain its mass and density and thus the asteroid's interior composition and structure. During its 100-day orbital regime, Psyche will employ its gamma-ray neutron spectrometer to get a better picture of the asteroid's surface topology and investigate the chemical elements that are abundant on the asteroid's surface. Let's set your clock and savor this incredible launch. And that just wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.